All right, guys, I'm going to make another belt for myself, paracord belt. I'm going to use the bronze and the black, uh, suggested by Dave from Get Event Adventure. Looks good. So I'm going to use the bronze and the black, but I'm going to show you in detail of the cobra weave with different colors. So here I'm going to use purple as the core, the black the outside, the pink as the center. Then you're going to need a lighter, a buckle, and a scissor, a couple of fids, and a flattening piece of tool there. All right, so you start, you take the core, find the center. Now my core is 45 inches long, so these, you know, I'm, I'm just using different colors here so I can show you what the uh, what the weave looks like. So here we're going to put a cow's hitch on the buckle, put the loop through, back through the other side, and then through the loop. That is a cow's hitch. I'll we'll anchor that core. These core uh, leads you don't get to see except right on the buckle there. The other core, two stranded or two two strand core to the other side. This core is where the um, leads, uh, the cobra stitch runs over these uh, two core. Give them something to uh, have fall in behind. And tighten the other core down. And then in my case, I'm going to put the bronze in the center. So I'm going to use pink here for the center. Again, find the uh, center. And then it goes on either side of the tongue of the buckle so that you got one lead on one side and one working lead on the other side. Same thing though, cow's hitch to get it anchored on. Up and through the loop. I'm going to have to loosen these up uh, just to run the black through because I'm going to not tie the black on to the uh, buckle itself. They're going to be tied on to the uh, other ends. Again, take the black, find the center, and put them through the loops of all the other leads there through the core and through the pink working lead the pink uh, working end and this will secure the black onto the buckle and have them come to the outside just where we want them running down the sides I'm gonna have the black run down the sides and the pink running in the center more or less now I can tighten down all the leads, all the cow hitches, tighten it up real good so that they're all on there real nice. And then we can start our cobra weave. All right, nice and tight. So we've got the two purple cores, which the cobra weave winds around and the bronze or the pink in the center and the black runs on the outside. All right, you take one working lead and always work with the inside. I'm using the pink here across the two core. Grab the black, goes over the, the working end of the pink, under the two core and up through the loop created by the working end. And you always 
use the pink or whatever color, the bronze in my case, uh, to cross over first. This is half a cobra weave. Now to get the pink back to the center, again, cross the core, grab the black across the working end, under the core, and up through the loop. and tighten up. This completes one complete cobra stitch, cobra weave. <clears throat> and that completes the, the right side. Now you grab the other working lead on the left and do the same thing. Half your cobra stitch, cross over the core, grab the black over the working end, under the two core and up through the loop. And here again, half cobra weave. And take the working end, always the pink, over the two core, the black over the pink, under the two core and up through the loop. This now completes one cobra stitch on each side, a complete cobra stitch on the left and a cobra stitch on the right. Now we just do the same thing again, except we cross over the uh, pinks, always uh, right over left or always left over right, so that the back side is always correct. So I'm using always right over left when I cross over. Again over the two core, the black over the working end, under the two core, and up through the loop. One half the cobra stitch. Then bring the pink back to the center by going over the two core, the black over the working end, under the two core, and up through the loop. And that completes the second cobra stitch on the right side. Over to the left, the working end, over the two core, the black over the working end, under the two core, and up through the loop. Now we've got to get the pink back to the center by going over the two core, black over the working end, under the two core, and up through the loop. Two complete cobra stitches on either side. And now it's just a repeat. Always right over left when you cross over. Now you can work either left side or right side, doesn't matter. So you can do the two cobra stitches on the right or two cobra stitches on the left. It doesn't matter which one you use first, just as long as you cross over the center, the working ends from left, uh, right over left. And we'll speed it up just a bit here to show you what it looks like once we get a little bit done, because the cobra stitch is all the same here. All right, so I've done a few stitches, cobra weave stitches, and we'll have a look and see what this looks like. And this is what mine is going to look like when I get done, the black on the outsides and the very center with the bronze going back and forth uh, between that. And that I like this side. Uh, the other side, some people like the other side to be showing. But you can see when you cross always right over left, you'll get the center always facing the same way. Otherwise, you'll get little X's under there or one this way, one that way, and it, 
it's not uh, not good so you always cross either right over left or left over right all the time and this basically is what the belt is going to look like okay guys I'm using the black and the bronze again suggested by Dave from ghetto van adventure he liked those suggested those and I thought not ah, cool so this is what I got so far maybe 10 inches or so uh, looks beautiful I like it and that's the side I like as opposed to this side facing out and again always right over left or left over right always the same and then again the same Cobra weave always using the bronze over the core both sides left and right okay we're down to the end 45 42 43 inches 44 I don't know we've got the two core real short and then the bronze and the black so what I'm gonna do here is cut the two core and singe melt and singe the ends so that it doesn't pull out or anything like that it just tucked in under out of the way cutting them about eighth of an inch to quarter of an inch not maybe not quite quarter of an inch eighth of an inch uh, sticking out so that you when you melt them there's something there that you can uh, press down on and I just made my core exactly the length I needed because I just cut and singed those at the end and I know how long I need to go on oh, a flattening tool now let's singe the ends here and press them down Paracord has, uh, I think, seven leads on the inside, seven white leads on the inside. Seven strands, I guess. You don't want to melt the uh, part that you can see, of course because it ends up to be really shiny and that should finish off the two core don't have to worry about those anymore Now we've got four leads left, the two blacks and the two um, working ends of the bronze. And we'll tie cobra stitch around the um, working ends of the bronze with the black to give it kind of a pointed uh, tongue end. half a cobra weave and then you do the other half the cobra weave to finish up a full cobra stitch tighten those down really well make a bit of a loop with the center um, bronze so that I can run the black through underneath there cinch that down nice and tight
and black through the loops. One one way and one the other. And now we can tighten down the bronze. Pull those nice and tight. Now, like I said, the uh, paracord has seven strands on the inside. And the reason I'm pulling them out a little bit on the end here and cutting them off is because I need to make the paracord just a little bit smaller diameter so that I can fit it into the um, fids a little easier. They, the fids have threads on the inside. There's a, a hole on the inside with threads and then the paracord is threaded into the fids. And the paracord itself with the uh, strands on the inside are just a little bit too thick. Singe the end. Give the fid something to grab onto. And the fids are inside the tool here. So there's a couple of fids there. There's the hole with the threads. You can't see the threads, but the hole. And we'll tighten these on. And put the second one on. I use the fids because I have to go under uh, the paracord where I can't release it anymore. I have to just stick it in there. Now, ready to go. We'll pull down on the two bronze centers real tight and get those nice and snug. First of all, tighten the black up so that uh, when I do pull these really tight here, it secures the black right in there. Nice. Beautiful. Like I said, a little shiny. I have to poke it to the back side. All right. With the fid now, I'm going to go under to hide this uh, and to secure it a little better too. And the other black. Tighten these on down. I think I'll go through another one yet. One more. Grab my knotter's tool. so I can make some room underneath the bronze there and the black underneath this one both of them pull those nice and tight Cut and singe those. Remove the fids. I'm going to have to use the fids on the bronze ones too, so I have more fids, but uh, decided to only use the two. And cut and singe those ends. get them nice and out of the way and it's the back side of the belt 
and it should be nice and smooth. You won't be able to feel that or, at all. You just see a, a shiny spot where that uh, was melted and, and where it was singed. And now I'm going to run the uh, bronze center cores here over top and underneath um, some of the same places here. Get them tucked in out of the way. I'm going to have to put a fit on. And if you melt and singe the ends, or if you singe the ends, uh, it makes it easier for the fit to fit on tight and hold on to the threads on the inside of the fit there. You can make your own fids. I, um, maybe I'll make a video on that one day on how to make your own. So this should go through the same spot where the other bronze one went. I do like the bronze and the black as opposed to the brown color that I had. And pull these nice and tight. And we'll go through another one. And the knotter's tool. Make some room. The fit came off. Lucky, because I need to use it on the other one anyway. <laughs> All right, I just cut and singe those. Run them both underneath. All right, that is the belt. 44, 44 inches. Looks beautiful. A double cobra weave belt. And you can run, you can have either side facing out. I just happen to like uh, the other side. I happen to like uh, this side here as the outside. Okay, now this is how it's going to go. It can go through. You don't need holes. It's just holes everywhere. You can put it whatever, wherever you like. This is how it connects together. Beautiful, beautiful looking. Love it. All right, let's try this on. This is very stiff at first, and it'll get nice and soft and supple after you've worn it for a while. That's what she looks like. Doesn't that look nice? Wow. Love it. The other side. Always crossing over the same way. Right over left is what I've done. Okay, let's put this thing on. I could make a loop near the buckle to um, hold the end in better, but I use my, uh, my pant loop as that instead of a loop on the buckle itself. Pick anywhere that fits. Put the tongue through any hole. There's a hole there. And through the loop on the buckle, on the belt, uh, the pant. There we go. That's it. Look at that, guys. Beautiful belt. 550 paracord. Never break.